Joyner Holmes broke onto the scene at the University of Texas in dramatic fashion as the Big 12 Conference Freshman of the Year. Seven times she earned Big 12 Freshman of the Week honors that season. After some ups and downs throughout her career in Austin, she bounced back to earn all-conference recognition both her junior and senior years. Through it all, she was one of the most athletic and explosive players in the nation and a tough matchup for every team that Texas played. Joyner Holmes is a strong, physically imposing 6'3 forward who was a tough matchup for anyone on the floor at the collegiate level. In this edition of Film Room, we're going to highlight some of her strengths, including rebounding, the transition game, and her explosive scoring ability. So we're going to start off with rebounding. On this first play, you'll see Holmes number 24 in white as Texas host Texas Tech. And first of all, as they go down the court, Holmes goes to the block, and Texas should have delivered her the ball on the block. She's a 6'3 senior being defended by number 35 Tucker, a 5'11 freshman, and she has a mismatch. But they don't pass her the ball, and as the ball is re reversed to the opposite side for the shot, that's when you're going to see some good skills from home. She makes this beautiful swim move. She re raises up her right arm and swims it over the top of the defender and steps around to secure the offensive rebound. And then when she does, she goes up through the defender to draw the foul and make the basket. And when you go back and you take a look at the replay, along with that swim move up top, she just bends her knees and makes this quick, powerful move around to get the offensive board. She's just inside position. She gathers once she rebounds it, and she powers through the off-balance defender and somehow is able to score the basket just with her sheer strength. So against Kansas in the Irwin Center, Holmes is on the right block and point guard Shug Sutton, who also was drafted in the WNBA draft, she's able to use her quickness to break down the defense on this play. And what happens is Holmes defender, who is Bailey Helgren, number 35 for Kansas, she slides over to help. And so when she slides over, the wing defender, Zakiah Franklin, tries to slide in to help the helper to be inside of Holmes, but Holmes turns her body and makes contact and blocks out Franklin before she can slide inside. It's great positioning from Holmes, and then she's able to go up and grab the rebound, and then does a great job of getting off the floor, off the floor quickly for the putback. So from this angle, watch how Holmes steps over and actually knocks Franklin back to seal her off, just backs her right out. She is so strong and powerful. You know, and this is one of the reasons why throughout her career, Joyner Holmes averaged two and a half offensive rebounds per game over the course of her entire career. From the opposite end, as Bailey Helgren slides over to help with the drive, you can see Sutton actually could make the pass over to Holmes, but she instead chooses to shoot. And then watch how Holmes really bends her knees and lowers her center of gravity 
to be in a strong position and shield Franklin behind her. You know, it doesn't matter how athletic you are, how tall, how small, if you get in that strong, powerful position, you can keep a player behind you. And then she releases and gets up quickly before Bailey Helgren is able to recover and try to block the shot. On this next play at Kansas, Holmes, number 24, and burnt orange this time. Kansas is in their pink uniforms at home in this game. So you see Holmes is number 24. She's going to the left block, and she's being defended by number one, Tina Stevens, who I think does a really good job defensively on this play. Stevens is in front position when the ball is on the wing. She moves her feet to deny when the ball is out top. She stays active. And then when the shot goes up, she actually steps toward Joyner Holmes to block out. She does all the right things, but Holmes steps away from the contact. And that's what you want to do when someone's trying to block you out. This is a great skill that she has. She steps away from the contact, and then she hunts down the basketball. And as she receives it, she makes this great spin move and powers to the other side of the basket. And as we go back and watch this play again from the beginning, when Joyner Holmes shows this kind of effort, she's nearly impossible to stop. It was fun for me as I went through the game films and, and was able to break down the action that as I listened to the announcers' reactions to some of these offensive rebounds. I mean, there's just a, a wow factor about what Joyner Holmes does sometimes. That last rebound we just showed you, that's exactly how the announcers responded. They just said, wow, after she was able to grab the rebound and spin. In this upcoming play, Holly Warlick, the former Tennessee head coach, after she sees this tip in, she says, now that's, that's, a, that's a woman tip in. And just the recognition for how athletic and powerful and strong Joyner Holmes can be at times is, is pretty fun to see different announcers and fans' reactions. So this is Texas at Texas Tech. So now Texas Tech is in their pink uniforms at home. And number 11, Joanne Allen Taylor, is going to drive into the lane. And Joyner Holmes is down on the right block right now. And her defender, Brittany Brewer, has to slide over to help out on the drive. And then Holmes, again, just like we saw a couple of plays ago, slides in front of the help defender. And this time, she just explodes up and tips it in. When you talk to coaches around the Big 12 Conference, they were concerned about Joyner Holmes and her ability to run the floor, whether she gets the rebound or not. And we're going to just show you a couple examples of that. Because first, on this play, she gets the rebound and she has the ability to push the ball up the court on her own. And it's interesting to watch on this play as she turns to go. If we freeze it right there, watch how Joyner Holmes has the basketball, but Natasha Mack, who is the player on the far side of the court, that's who is assigned to defend Holmes and get back. So Holmes with the ball, Mack without the ball. And Holmes drives up the court. You can see just a little over half court. She really accelerates, sees the opening, and drives all the way to the rim. As we go back, you know, Holmes has that ball handling ability and the speed to get up the court and take advantage of defensive mistakes. A concern about Holmes' game is her decision-making if there is a defender back there to make the stop. That's an area of the game she needs to improve.
So here's another transition opportunity for Texas, this time against Texas Tech. Again, number 24, Holmes. She takes a swipe at the ball to try to obstruct as Sydney Goodson shoots it. But then off the miss, keep an eye on Holmes on the far side. She knows she's not getting the rebound. So she sprints ahead when Celeste Taylor secures the rebound for Texas. And Holmes is out ahead, sprinting down the court. And she's only slowed by the point guard Carr there who is back. But then Taylor is gonna drive to the right and deliver the pass to Holmes who has a step on Brittany Brewer. Now remember, Brewer is the second leading shot blocker in the nation. So Holmes makes a power dribble, steps a foot around Brewer, makes a shot fake, and has Brewer pinned in an awkward position and powers it up. And if we run it back, you're going to see that she really had the advantage from the start on Brittany Brewer because she out-hustled her down the court this time. You know, we could show several more examples of how well she runs the court, but we're gonna shift gears to, to focus on her ability to score and use her power and her, her explosiveness and her skill. In this close game against Oklahoma State, the play breaks down and number 10, LaShawn Higgs, recovers the basketball. And as Higgs passes the ball up top to set things up, you're going to see Joyner Holmes flash to the ball side and then point to Jada Underwood to throw the ball back to Higgs. And then you're going to see Holmes call for the ball, and then she will catch the ball and chin it like she's supposed to and check the defense, and she feels that she has room on the baseline and she powers to the opposite side of the rim. And an angle right there where we zoom in, I really like how she's showing patience, she's reading the situation, and she ends up going the direction where there's room. She feels that baseline is open. But as we, as we look from underneath the basket, I think you're going to notice, though, that the most efficient move here would have been a drop step where she could drop that right foot to pin the defender on her backside and power it up. But she's so explosive that she can even get around the defender by picking up her left foot first. And that's not the most efficient footwork don't try this at home, but she still is able to get around and score on the opposite side just because she's so explosive. But I think that's an area of her game that when she cleans up that footwork, it will even take her to another level when she goes to the next level. The next play we're going to show is against Oklahoma State. And a couple of things on this play really show how special Joyner Holmes is. Oklahoma State shifts to a 2-3 zone. And as Underwood sets the screen for Shug Sutton, Sutton is going to drive around the top of the zone. And what I want you to watch, though, is how Holmes on the offside steps in front of the low forward on the back of the zone. That's Vivian Gray. And she positions herself in great position to receive the ball. Now, I'm sure Coach Littell from Oklahoma State would like to see his center, Natasha Mack, put her hands up to obstruct this pass. It's just too open. But look how Holmes, look at her position. Her knees are bent, target hand out. And Sutton just has to throw it up where only Holmes can go get it for the score. As we look at the zoom in angle, it's, it's a beautiful pass, but
by Shug Sutton because she knows that Holmes can go up and get the basketball. I mean, Gray and Mack for Oklahoma State, they can't recover. They could have if Holmes would have come back down with the basketball, but because she stays up and tips it in, there's just no defense for that. And it's a beautiful pass by Shug Sutton. If you look at it from the opposite end, this play really shows the potential that Joyner Holmes has as a pro, her incredible athleticism. She is at the backboard and has this great body control and skill to tip this in. And then she does what she should do. She points at Shug Sutton in appreciation for a great pass. On this next play, head coach Karen Aston for Texas has Joyner Holmes attempt multiple on-ball screens for Shug Sutton once she hands off here on the inbound. So you're going to see Holmes setting those screens, trying to open up Sutton, and then Holmes realizes that Aoka Lee, the defender for Kansas State, is playing off her in the lane. So after she sets this next screen, she is able to move to the top of the key. And when she catches, she's just going to shape up and drill the 18 foot jumper. So she makes a decision rather than roll to the basket where the defender is, she's going to float back, step back to the top of the key where she has plenty of room. And she's always had that nice jump shot with a soft touch and shows it here on this play. You know, and Joyner Holmes has the ability to rise up for that long jumper. Probably at the next level, she's going to need to stretch that out and improve her three-point range as well. So against Kansas State, again, you saw on that last play, they allowed Joyner Holmes to shoot from the perimeter. Holmes has had some inconsistencies away from the basket, shooting just 41% from the field in her senior year. So Kansas State wanted to make her shoot from the perimeter on this play as the first few options are not available. The play kind of breaks down, but Holmes is going to flash across to the baseline here late in the play. And then watch how Lee, her defender, doesn't come outside of the lane, dares her to shoot, but Joyner Holmes delivers on this, on this mid-range jumper. So this next play against Texas Tech kind of typifies the, the ups and downs of Joyner Holmes' career. As she comes down the court, she's going to post up against the 2-3 zone where she's defended by Brewer inside. And as she faces up and the cutter goes, she's going to make a pass and it's really a kind of a careless pass that could have been picked off because there's a defender right there but collier ends up retrieving it and then when collier passes it back to holmes she receives it and she makes an explosive move past Brittany brewer to score and make it look easy against a great shot blocker so as we zoom in you see she almost throws it away but then when she gets it back, she checks over her inside shoulder and she powers back to the right for the score. And one more angle underneath. You see her footwork here where she's able to get enough of a step past Brewer and hooks her slightly with her elbow and then goes underneath the shot blocker's arm to be able to finish. I mean, that's a great move. So this final play again showcases the combination of her athleticism and her skill. Against TCU's extended active zone, Holmes starts at the high post. And when she catches it and draws a couple of defenders, she reverses the floor with a strong skip pass to the, to the corner. 
I mean, you could see how all the TCU defenders turn and are looking at the corner. So that's where Holmes actually sees that the backside is open. So she slides down the lane. And when LaShawn Higgs drives the baseline, she's able to float up a high pass to Holmes to elevate and tip it in. As you look from the opposite end, you can see how the defense shifts on that skip pass. And she slides down the lane before TCU's defenders are able to shift over to her. And the Texas guards know that Holmes can climb the ladder and tip it in. And, and Higgs just delivers a beautiful pass to set up Holmes. When you look at the angle underneath the basket, you can really appreciate how quickly Holmes is able to get the ball out of her hands on the tip. Just such a remarkable athlete with so much potential. 